What's up guys? Welcome back to Field Series Review. Today, we're going to take a look at the Hella Dry Tortuga Pack. All right guys, so welcome back to the channel. Before we jump into today's video, make sure you drop down below, like the video, subscribe to the channel, head over to Instagram, head over to TikTok, give us a follow, see what's happening over there. Also, sponsor today's video is going to be Kuwanu Gear. Kuwanu Gear makes high quality um, lanyard accessories, um, gun slings, shoulder straps, sunglass straps out of high quality PVC covered wiring. So the same PVC covered wiring that you use for your duck leads um, are now turned into all sorts of things that you can use. So make sure you head over to kwanu.com, check them out, use promo code FSREVIEW. That's going to get you 10% off any order over $30. All right, guys, so today we're going to talk about the Hella Dry Tortuga pack. Um, when I bought this pack, they were under the name High and Dry, which is why you see High and Dry right here. But now they've changed their name to Hella Dry. Uh, I spoke with them on social media and confirmed that they are now Hella Dry. So if I get the names mixed up, you'll know why. Okay, so the Tortuga pack. What is it? Why do I like it? It is a 28 liter, 100% waterproof backpack. Tough as hell. Absolutely love this guy. I've been using it since February, using it on the river, using it on the lake, um, used it in early teal season. And anything you want to keep dry, anything you want to keep safe, it's not just a waterproof pack. It's extremely durable. Anything you put in there is going to be safe. Um, keep the dirt out, keep the dust out. Anything that it's important to you, um, dry clothes, uh, camera gear, um, Anything that's really important to you to keep safe, this is going to be a great pack for you. Now, a lot of companies have gone to these waterproof backpacks. Uh, Yeti came out with one a while back. It is also a 28 liter pack. It's extremely similar to this pack here. I feel like the Hella Dry pack has a bit more creature comforts, a bit more things made to benefit the outdoorsman. And we're going to look at those in just a second. Um, the Yeti Pang is also $300. This is $250, so you save a few bucks there. Um, now, this has a very rubbery feel to it, hence it's 100% waterproof. Um, you're going to have an outer pocket right here that's going to hold a fair amount of stuff. I'm pretty sure on the Panga, the Yeti Panga, you have to buy an additional outer pack and then strap it on. Um, this guy just comes with it. Um, it's awesome. It is also waterproof. Um, you can see the air being trapped in it right here. Um, it's going to have rubber sheathing on top of the zipper to make sure absolutely nothing gets into it. Um, it's got the 100% waterproof zipper coming along the top. And then you're going to have an additional pocket out here on the outside. Same thing. Like I said, this, uh, the, um, the zippers are 100% waterproof. They're rubberized. Um, if you've ever gotten your hands on one of these rubber 100% rubber, waterproof packs before, the zippers are tough. Okay. Um, there is zipper lubricant. I think this guy comes with some. But I'm not really sure. I have some from some other bags that I've used, but the zippers are tough. So don't complain about it. I can't get it open very well because it's designed to keep water out. It's designed to keep dust and dirt out. So yeah, it's going to be a little tougher to open. That's just the nature of the business. Um, some of those little add-ons that I talked about that I really like that the Hella Dry Pack has, you're going to have a bottle, ho bottle holder out here. Um, Put your water, put your beer, put your Red Bull, whatever you want. They threw in a bottle opener out here on the outside. So if you're down on the water and you crack open a drink, you're going to be able to do that. You switch over to this outside here. You're going to have these two straps here. And this is going to be for you to strap on anything such as a fly rod, such as a bedroll, such as I've seen people strap on shotguns. Um, Hella Dry also has a utility pole that I'll be reviewing. It fits there really, really well. Um, my only kind of qualm is that when I'm not using something in here, this kind of gets in the way. I know I could tuck it and, and twist it. Um, it's one of those things I would rather have it because of what it offers me when I want to use it versus having to deal with these straps kind of moving around a little bit. It's not the end of the world. Um, when we turn around to the back here, or I guess the front now, um, you are going to see that you're going to get breast clips so it keeps the pack up keeps everything up high um, around your breast um, while this pack is rubberized and while it is a very very kind of rigid feel of the rubber it's just how these packs are made 
they do a really good job of making the part that actually touches your back very soft. Um, so this is going to sit against your upper back, lower back, and it's very comfortable. And the way we have these channels built into here, it's going to allow a little bit of airflow. So you're not going to sweat so much. So this does a really good job of being a very rugged pack on the backside, but very, very soft against your back um, on the portion that touches you. But my favorite part um, about this pack, besides that it's waterproof, my favorite part is how comfortable the shoulder straps are. Um, I backpack a lot and I'm really, really um, kind of judgy on the shoulder straps. Um, the, the shoulder straps of the Sitka Timber Pack, I hate. Not much to them. And they're thin, they're narrow. I'm not a really a big fan. These shoulder straps are just wide enough to make them comfortable, very thick. Um, not overly thick, but just it, it, it rides well. It just it, it's a very comfortable backpack. It rides well. Everything is adjustable. Um, if you want to clip anything on to the front here, um, keys, um, I don't know what you would want to put on there, but you have that option there. Um, last little thing on the back is anything that you do want to strap onto the back, you've got these um, additional loops here. Um, so that's it for the outer of this um, Hella Dry Tortuga pack. Comes in two colors right now, this turtle shell and then a sand. Uh, the sand looks pretty clean, but I went with the turtle shell. Um, and uh, like I said, very happy. Um, you got a good look at the outside and I'm gonna open it up for you and let you look at the inside. All right guys, I'm gonna give you a quick look at the inside of these packs. I'm sorry if it's a little bit dark, but these waterproof packs, um, they don't open up as well as other backpacks. That's so they can keep everything safe. Um, but anyways, we're going to open up here. You're going to be able to see you're going to have a pouch, a zippered pouch on the inside here. You're going to be able to put keys, wallets, sunglasses, and whatnot. Uh, if you turn it up a little bit, you can see there's another uh, pouch here. It's not zippered. You just drop things down into. And then you're going to have another uh, clip right here if you want to uh, clip anything onto it. It looks like it's kind of set up for a hydration pack, but I don't think that's what it's for. I don't really know where you would run the hose out. But anyways, um, it's very straightforward on the inside, right? They're not going to have too many bells and whistles. This guy is basically made for putting your stuff down in it and keeping it dry. Uh, like we talked about, the zippers are very loud. They're very robust. They're very big. But that is to keep everything sealed um, by lock it all the way down just like that no air escapes it. it means no air is getting in it either so nice nice handle right here for you to pick it up and move it and then you got a little hanger handle right there big fan of these guys you can see all this air trapped in here that means no air is getting out no air is getting in which means no water is getting in all right, guys, so I hope you liked my review of the Hella Dry Tortuga pack. Uh, one thing I failed to mention is that it is a two-year warranty with those guys um, for these products. Um, the extent of the warranty, you'll have to talk to them about. But uh, I'll put a link to this product down in the description. I'll also put a link down in the description to our sponsor, Kawanu Gear. Make sure you head over and check them out. The promo code down below. Um, let me know if you've used this guy. Let me know what you think about it. Make sure you go down below, like the video, subscribe to the channel. We'll see you guys next time.